a look at a better way to do dynamic wallpaper on the iOS 14.3 beta. So in a previous video, I showed you how to use shortcuts to create dynamic wallpaper on iOS 14.3 beta. But the way I went about it was a little bit convoluted and just, just not very good. So I've improved this tutorial and we're going to use photos found in the Photos app. And we're just gonna create an album specifically for wallpaper. So I've saved these 12 images from the Iris theme linked in the description. I'm gonna tap the select button in the upper left hand corner and then just select all, tap the share button and I'm going to add to album. And I'm gonna select new album and I'm gonna name that album wallpaper. And of course I can't spell it well, but thankfully QuickType is gonna help me out. And now I'm just gonna tap save. So I have a brand new album that contains those 12 images. So I'm gonna go back out, select my new wallpaper album, and there you go. So the nice thing is you can add or remove images to this album whenever you want to, and those changes will be reflected in your dynamic wallpaper. So let's close out of the Photos app and let's open up shortcuts now. We're gonna make this easy. So we're gonna tap the plus button to create a new shortcut. And our goal is to get images from that wallpaper album. So to do that, we're going to just type in find photos like that. So tap on find photos and now we're gonna add a filter and we wanna filter on album, which is already selected for the type of filter. Now we can just choose the wallpaper album and now it's gonna pull in photos from that wallpaper album. But we also wanna pull in random photos. So for sort by, choose random, and we wanna limit it to just one photo because we don't wanna pull in multiple photos for our wallpaper. So there we go. So now we just need to add the set wallpaper action to set the wallpaper from that random photo selected from the Photos app wallpaper library. So there we go. So you have an option to choose to set the lock screen and the home screen, or you can choose one or the other. We're gonna keep both there. Tap show more and disable show preview. And now we have our full shortcut. So tap next and we'll give it a name. We'll call it random wallpaper. And, and once we have the name in there, just tap on the done button in the upper right hand corner. And now let's test it out. We're just gonna tap on that shortcut and see what happens to our wallpaper. And maybe, yes. So it pulls in a random wallpaper from our wallpapers album within the Photos app, just like that. So now we need to set up an automation to trigger that shortcut. So open up the shortcuts app, tap the automations tab, tap the plus in the upper right hand corner, tap create personal automation and look what you have here. All these potential triggers for your random wallpaper shortcut. So you can set up this automation based on time of day. You can set it when you arrive at a certain location, etc. But here, we're gonna choose the charger automation. Feel free to use whichever automation you want. I'm gonna tap next in the upper right hand corner and I'm gonna use the search box to search for run shortcut. So you wanna select run shortcut, tap shortcut, and then choose your shortcut. I only have one here, so that makes it easy. So I chose random wallpaper, tap next, disable ask before running, and select don't ask, and then tap done. So that's good folks, we're done here. So I'm gonna test this out by plugging in our lightning cable, if I can get it in there. All right, there we go. So watch the screen. Yes, it changes dynamically. Now notice you also get a notification from shortcuts. So that's kind of a bummer. We'll talk about that in a second. So plug it back in and you'll see the notification and you see the wallpaper changes dynamically. So that looks great. It's working exactly like we want it. The only thing is that stupid notification. So we, we're going to disable that. Let's go to settings. Let's go to screen time. I'm gonna tap see all activities, scroll all the way down to the notifications section. And you'll see your various applications where you receive notifications. You can tap one of those and go to manage notifications for that particular app, for instance, the home app. But notice shortcuts, you can't tap it. To get around this, just tap daily average. And now you can scroll back down and select shortcuts. If you don't see shortcuts, just tap show more. But in this case, it was one of the first ones. Now I can just disable notifications like that and let's test it out again. So we're gonna grab my lightning cable here and we're gonna plug it in and we're gonna make sure this thing works with no notification. And it does. That looks amazing. 
So dynamic wallpaper, just like this. Now the only downside of the notifications trick is that if you reboot your iPhone, the notifications will be re-enabled. So you'll have to go back into shortcuts and disable those notifications. But hopefully you just don't reboot your iPhone all that often, you keep it charged. All right, so that's it folks. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comment section. And if you appreciate this video, leave me a thumbs up. This is Jeff with the 9to5Mac.